The 14-bedroom Maison de Messia is a small boutique hotel located in the border town of Las Cruces, New Mexico. It should be a wonderful southwestern oasis, but the few guests that visit the hotel are in for an unpleasant surprise. Owner, Kali Shavinsky, purchased the former bed and breakfast in 2006 and completely remodeled it, putting her own distinctive taste and style into every aspect, from the food to the furnishings. To me, it's very European. It's very Tuscan in nature. Maybe that's the Venetian plaster, but I didn't really pick a style as much as I just picked out things that I liked. And one thing Kelly likes a lot is beige. The bedrooms are beige, with beige, and a little beige. The walls are freaky. It looks okay, like it's that's... trying to be marble, but it's plastic. I do not believe the customer is always right. Definitely not a place that I would feel comfortable staying. Sometimes they're wrong. I well. Sure that cook. Well. Mm -hmm. She's pregnant, she wanted to make sure it was well. You know, the more you cook it, the less flavor it will have. How's that chicken parm tender salad going? Callie made the menu. We only serve Tuscan food. I don't even know if Callie's ever been to Italy. 86 bruschetta. Told you guys forever that was an awful recipe. But it may not be the bad food or the decor that's keeping guests away. My mother was a bartender, and she would have me sing to people, and they paid attention to me, and they liked me. I live for applause. Kelly tried to make it as a professional singer, but when her career stalled, she found her own personal concert venue. I bought the hotel to sing. The audience members really like me a lot. I'm like an, an audio mirage. You, if, if I do a share tune, you're going to think you're hearing share. If you're not looking at me, you think I am share. We get a lot of telephone calls. It's Callie singing tonight. Well, then that kind of means they like me. I think I surprise them quite a bit because they just don't expect it. Give me just a second here. After that song, I need a little drink. Two months ago, Callie hired local restaurateur Zan Steinberg as her new general manager. Ladies, how are we? Let's so check who's checking in. Zan's wife, Mitzi has been working with Kelly since the hotel opened. In the beginning, my husband Zan and Kelly's relationship was very good. Has it deteriorated? Oh, punch. Where are the keys? How can I get anything done if that bastard won't put shit back? Zan is the biggest problem here right now, and that's unfortunate because I brought him on to help me with what I thought the biggest problem was, was we don't have enough customers. Some kind of general manager he is. Kelly should be fired for being a poor operator and digging this thing into a hole. With ownership and management not on the same page, the guests are the ones that suffer. How is everything here? We're basically ready to get our food to go because we waited so long. Okay, yeah. let me take care of this. Yeah. Callie believes that the customers have a place in her hotel, but Callie's at the tippy top of that pyramid. I do not enjoy going up to tables and having something wrong at every fucking table I go to. Yes. I don't like it at all. Hotel bookings have fallen to an all-time low, and for much of the year, not one of the 14 bedrooms has a guest in. If things don't change fast, the hotel will be forced to close. Someone needs to be able to tell me what it is I'm doing wrong. It's everything that I have is tied up into the hotel. I need Gordon's help badly. My first time in New Mexico, I'm in Las Cruces in the Southwest Desert. And look at it. I mean, absolutely stunning. On the way to the Maison de Messia. Now, this is a small boutique hotel. Possibly the perfect getaway. You have arrived at your destination. You're kidding me. I mean, this is a joke. You've arrived. And look, yeah, I'm going to fucking pile of sand. Turn around when possible. This is crazy. It doesn't make sense. You have arrived at your destination. Is that it there? Turn around Turn when around. possible. You'd think they have a decent sign on there, wouldn't you? It's like a prison. Finally. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Maison de Messia. Good to see you. So whose favorite color is beige? Well, Callie was the decorator. Callie is the? Callie is the owner. The owner, right. This is our cleaning agreement. If you could read and sign it, please. Cleaning agreement? Yes, just so oh, you don't. I'm not coming for a job or a detox. Just so you don't or... damage our property. This is a. Damage your property? Yes. The owner is very concerned Scotland. about the Venetian plaster. The owner is very concerned about the? Venetian plaster. And she wants me to sign a waiver. Yes, sir. To say that I won't damage it. Yes, sir. Does everyone have to sign these? Everyone, yes. Why would I sign a waiver? 
I'm not sure why you'd want to sign a waiver. No, sir. I'm not going to sign that. By the way, welcome. Good to see you. What a first impression. I don't believe that there needs to be a waiver. I just do what I'm told. You put all these things on there. It doesn't look like New Mexico to me. It sure doesn't. Maybe Italian? Uh, well, I have two Russians in Italy, and my Russians haven't got pictures of New Mexico. Bloody hell. Let's go up to the room. Do I have to sign a waiver to walk on the carpet? No, sir. Look, that was not me. Looks like someone pooped on my wall. Oh, you got a little fireplace. A fireplace. That's exactly what you need in the middle of a fucking desert. Do you have any alternate rooms? I'd love to move if it was less beige. All the rooms are going to be the same. Oh, shit. Well, thank you. I'm going to pack. You're going to leave me alone on my own in my room. Do I need to sign a waiver? No, sir. No. Nice to meet you, by the way. Nice to meet you too, Gordon. Thank you. This room is so bland, it looks more like an airport hotel than a fun weekend getaway in the heart of New Mexico. I can't wait to meet the woman behind this. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the sun. Gordon. And Callie. Callie, good to see you. Good to see you, too. Um, I thought that you'd be wearing beige with a lady that's in love with beige everywhere. I do like beige. My favorite color is beige, but I think beige goes with a lot of things. I didn't sign the waiver. Sending that message out to every customer coming in here is not a good sign to begin with. Well, it's $7.50 a square foot to replace the Venetian plaster, so it right. can be a lot if someone does some damage. Why don't you uh, show me around? I would love to show yeah. you around. This is the main dining room. How many seats have you got here? 89. Uh, what do you have, a stairs? It's a stage where I perform. Oh, wow, amazing. Uh, and percussionist, guitarist? No, I, actually, right now I sing to tracks. So you have, like, a backing track? And I you do. sing over yes, there? Yes, yes, I do. OK. Wow, wow, wow. And this is the bar. This is the bar. Over there, we have another yeah. stage. I usually sing in here on Fridays and Saturdays. OK, and who else performs here? No one else. No. Wow, wow, wow. And then through here? Seriously? What's all that shit in the pool? Well, that's from the pool cleaner who was supposed to be here this morning. It's a little bit late. Is it busy, the pool? No, it's not. Very seldom do people use really? the pool. Mind you, I suppose it's like going for a swim in the prison. Jesus Christ. What's on the back there? That was for entertainment. Oh my God, three stages. I sing everywhere in the hotel. I love to sing, period. Three stages? I hope there's no stage in the kitchen. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, this Sierra. Sierra Angel. Sierra, nice, nice to, to see you. you. Likewise, where are you from? I'm from New Mexico. Oh, We're nice. Yeah, Local girl. Mm -hmm, I am. Excellent. Is the cuisine uh, New Mexican? No. Some break? There's nothing here that's New Mexican at all, no. This is all very uh, confusing. I'm looking forward to tasting the food later. Anyway, whatever Wonderful. it is. Uh, let's catch up with the bar, shall we? Nice okay. to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I like to cook Southwestern cuisine. It's like, I don't know why we have Tuscan food. As the owner? In your mind, what's wrong with the place? Well, we don't have enough customers. And you've had it now since? 2006. How much did it cost? $1.2 million. Wow. And that's what I purchased it for. How much did you spend converting it? Another 1.2. Mm. Two and a half million? Mm -hmm. Bloody hell. I shut down for 14 months to remodel it. 14 month shutdown. That's yeah, incredible. it wasn't supposed to be 14 months. It was supposed to be four. It turned it into 14 months and a million two to do it. And the contractor was indicted. Bloody hell. I've gone through a lot of stuff with this hotel. It's like, I'm starting to think maybe the problem is I'm just too trusting. How long can you continue putting money in? Oh, I've got maybe 60, 70, $70,000 left. So for the next six months, max? Yeah, unless, unless, we, unless it kicks up. Um, listen, I'm, uh, I'm here to help. And I'm sorry it's been this difficult. Thank you. I'm glad to see you. I'm, I'm really glad you're here. I've just arrived at Maison de Messia, and I'm confused by this hotel. Who put all these things on there? It doesn't look like New Mexico to me. It sure doesn't. I met Callie, the owner, and she told me she's desperate for this place to succeed. I'm really glad you're here. So, I'm keen to meet the general manager and see why he's letting this place fail on his watch. Now, you're the general manager. I'm the general manager. Um, how long have you been working in hotels? Hotels would be nine weeks. I'd never been in a hotel, but I'd always been in restaurants, full-service restaurants. Stop. How does a restaurant manager become qualified to be a general manager of a hotel when you've never worked in a hotel before? It's not that complicated. Take care of the guests, check It's not that in. complicated. I don't believe it is. I can do the work. It's not that hard. There's only like six, seven things I need to learn. What are the major problems? The major problem is Callie is the owner. She's the major problem. The major problem. She is too controlling, and my hands are being tied. If you're not being allowed to do the job you came in to do, why are you here? I'm here because I'm emotionally invested in the place. How the fuck can you be emotionally my... invested when you've only been here nine, nine weeks? weeks? 
Well, my wife's been here all these years. Anytime somebody calls in sick, the first person they call is Mitzi. We've always thought it's a gold mine. We just can't figure out why we can't get people in the seats. The only way for Misson to be successful is for Cali to back out. What are these things here? Uh, the vinyl, we're uh... disgusting. In fact, can we take this off? Do you mind? Instantly, that looks better, right? You do not need to be a general manager to make that decision, do you? No. Is there a server or? Uh, we're gonna bring a server over here. Please. Right now. And his or her name? Uh, Mitzi. Mitzi. Oh, it's your wife? Yes. How are you? Good, how are you? Let's order first, shall we? OK. And then we'll have a chat. All right. Well, what would you like? We are in New Mexico, aren't we? Yeah. Yes, we are in Las Vegas. And I Taste of Tuscany. Yes. Why wouldn't you just go for a modern, stunning, delicious Mexican cuisine? I guess it's because she thinks there's enough of them. It's crazy. Uh, the prosciutto looks good. OK. okay. The chicken ricotta, that sounds interesting. OK. The lamb lollipops. Wow, well, it's not cheap, is it? $23 mm -mm. for the lamb lollipops. Thank you, my darling. Uh -huh. Bloody hell. I got the prosciutto. I know good food. Thank you so much. No problem. Our food is really good. To be forewarned. It's hard to catch that all over my plate. Prosciutto normally goes with uh, tomatoes. Yes. Looks and like this the... is olives and anchovies. Popular dish? Um, no. It's like vomit, that I guess. Whew. Dear, oh dear. Word got out that I'm in town, and the restaurant is starting to fill up with customers. Can I, try this way, please? I feel sorry for all of them. Wow. Here we go, my $23 lollipops. Been the longest member of staff here. What do you think's wrong with this place? Um, I think Callie's reputation. Is it that bad? She's rude. She's rude? Mm hmm. She's brass. She's short. She's not flexible. I think you get the picture. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. Uh -huh. Blimey. Not what I'd call a loyal workforce. You're fat. $23. Dreadful. Tough as fuck. Do you like lamb? I love lamb. It's tough as anything. It's a little tough and perhaps a little rare. A little tough. What is going on? No, you haven't got much hotel experience, but isn't this your forte? Restaurants? Yes. Bloody hell. I'm finished with that. Thank you. I mean, dreadful. Absolutely. You can tell it. Is that lamb frozen? The lamb comes frozen, and we thaw, of course. Can you find out where it's from? Yes. Psst. Lamb lollipops, no go. So far, nothing I've tasted has even a remote connection to the area. Nothing local, nothing authentic, nothing New Mexican. New Zealand. New Zealand lamb. Mm -hmm. Wow. That part's right, that part's right. Okay. Our chicken is, um, piccata is non-traditional. Thank you for visiting us here at Masande Masia. My name is Callie. I'm going to do just a little music for you this afternoon. A little rock number from Cher. <laughs> Love her. If I could turn back time, if I could find a way, I'd take back those words that it hurt you, and you'd stay. If I could reach the star, I'd give them all to you. Then you know me, love me, like you used to do. Nice to see you. I'm so sorry about the noise. <laughs> and it's not in the kitchen. Uh, yes, yeah, a little bit much. Uh, I'm not too sure what's more scary, the food or the singing. What would you say? I don't know, they complement each other. How are we, ladies? Attacked by a fake bunch of graves. <laughs> Is that normal? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's not just because I'm here. No. She is not Cher. I am sorry. I, I love to sing. That's probably why I bought this place. I've got to get away from this horrendous singing. We haven't met yet, have we? Say again, sir? We haven't met yet, have we? No, sir, I'm David. David, what'd you do? Yes, sir, I'm a pantry. Pantry? Yes, sir. Tell us. Are you trained, David? Well, it's trained a little bit, sir. I've been around, sir. And where's your love of food coming from? Where do you? Where'd you where'd my you, father. Your father. That's a chef? No, sir. My dad was a nurse, but he loved to eat. Wow. Walking in another calamari with the remoulade. I have the second calamari selling right now, ma'am. Heard. Just, just two seconds. Yes, it's, it's already breaded oh, and yes, fried. Sir. I'm going to fry it right now, sir. That's already cooked? Yes, sir. So when was it cooked? Oh, actually, we get it in a box, sir. We get it from a fish company, sir. Completely frozen. Just touch that. 
Oh, yes, sir. It feels like rubber. I, I don't eat the fish here, sir. How come you know this and you're still doing it? My opinion doesn't matter in this restaurant. If you know it's bad. Yes. And yet you just, against your will, do it. <laughs> Life. <laughs> wow. I hope tonight's guest can remain as positive as David has. If you can sign this here for me, it's just a cleaning agreement. A what? A cleaning agreement? Just in case you do throw red wine on our walls. Does that happen? It has happened, actually. Unfortunately, the guests checking in are getting the same terrible welcome that I did. If I could please have you read. Good evening, ladies. Welcome. Nice to see you both. Thank Hi. you. I'd like to apologize about the waiver. All right, well, you, you got to do, ooh. Oh, oh. No throwing red wine on the walls. Looks true. Sign but, a cleaning agreement? Yeah. So what does that mean? Like, do the checkoff list when you come in, and then do the checkoff list when you exit in the exactly. morning? Is there any other breakfast other than coffee in the morning? No, ma'am, there's no breakfast. Is there a room service or anything? No, ma'am. You're lucky you're not hearing the singing. I'm going to head to the bar for a quiet afternoon drink. Any more singing, and I feel like my head might explode. Okay, what is going on? Customers are having dinner, and all of a sudden she breaks into this music. Totally unexpected. Oh, totally. Yeah, she just sits there and absolutely wails in it. Yeah, um, what the fuck? Seriously, I've seen enough for one day. Just, you're gonna have to lay that down somewhere. Where's she going now? She's just gonna sing. No, yes. not, not in, in here. Yes, sir. You're kidding me. I thought these guests in here were the lucky ones. <laughs> I did, too. The same numbers? Exact same. She's a nut the job. Exact same, Gordon, yes. My name is Callie, for those of you that don't know. I do a little entertaining here. Got any share fans in the audience? <laughs> oh, my God. It's a terrible karaoke concert finally over. It's time to get the chef and the management together and find out what on earth is going on here. Let's get one thing absolute certain. It is not a taste of Tuscany. It's not funny. So plus the fun. So are you are you are you proud of this? No, I so told why you are you doing it. Because I'm not allowed to change anything. Oh my god. I feel like there is many pricing issues here. There are definitely changes that have to happen. You're amazing. It's just total horseshit. It's just total horseshit. You know, it's you just like. Are you lying? No, we work within the constraints and I'm allowed to work. Oh, me, constraints this should all my been ass. Talk. This should have been all talk. Constraints my ass. Pretty much. You have done nothing since you came in here but talk about me behind my back, try to set me up to fail every fucking day. Why and do I want to make you look I better? don't know. Well, I know. wish the hell I did know, but I've got several people we can line up and we'll tell them exactly what you said and to I, them. I imagine we will, you know. Then I can hear the no... same thing about you, Bullshit. you know. I'll leave, and the only thing you'll say, the parting words, not to me, is, I hope he hangs himself. Now, how horrible is that when I'm doing an event here? Well, I'll tell you how horrible it is. About as horrible as when somebody hires all new people and tells each and every one of them that she's a bitch to work for, you can't work with her, but hang in there because in six months, I'll be running this place and she'll be gone. I mean, literally, right out of the box. Right out of the box. So there you go. You so have that's what no... it all goes back to. Yeah, because that's when I found out what an untrustworthy, backstabbing son of a bitch you are. I gotta worry about my back continuously with you. What? This major miracle man that was supposed to come in here and double and triple this business when there's been no change whatsoever. None. So was I allowed but to that, make any changes? Or like direct, dramatically you, well, you make wanted any to, You wanted to hire new people, which you did. Of course, you told each and every one of them that they shouldn't work for me. Oh, for God's sake. Is that true? There was the impression given that Callie would no longer be here whenever oh we were brought she over. She owns yes. the place. Why were you suggesting that she's not going to be here after Sierra starts? I don't recall that. <laughs> Poor shit. Wow. It just wasn't what? her. She all, it wasn't right. her. It was you, Annie. It you was Kristen. Really... It was you, everybody. Oh my God. Does the general manager bad mouth the owner behind her back? Yes. Of course she doesn't trust you if you're going to bad mouth her behind your back. If you were the owner, what would you do? I would fire that person that bad mouth me. You're fired. I think I'm leaving. I, I, I was just fired. Now, Callie, I'm sorry. You've already failed. And you need a fall guy. OK, you got me. You run it. You step up to the plate. Good luck. I'm leaving, too. I'm out of here. I feel betrayed. And if the bitch thinks I'm going to stay, she's nuts. You know, I don't mind Callie yelling at me. It's fine. She finally got it off her fucking chest. But she doesn't trust anybody. You know, everybody's burned her in her history. I don't know. I didn't burn her. It felt good to fire him because it's been a cancer here at the hotel. And now the tumor's been cut out and we're gonna be in better shape. Zan's just been fired and the level of animosity and the friction between those two is extraordinary. But the question is, what happens next? 
I had a rough night's sleep with that bloody share tune going round and round my head. I'm hoping I can wash that tune out of my brain with a quick swim. And that's not all I'd like to forget. My first day at Maison was crazy. Within hours of my arrival, the general manager was fired. What an untrustworthy, backstabbing son of a bitch you are. And I had to endure torture by Kalioki. I really didn't mean to hurt you. Today has got to be better than yesterday. Let's hope the poor guy came. The pool is still dirty. What the hell is that? What a joke. I mean, what a badly utilized space. I mean, you're, you think of a hotel anywhere in New Mexico. God, one thing is an asset. This is pool. I mean, this space could be the best thing about this hotel, yet it's just abused. Dirty, not even a towel out here, so. Who the fuck would swim in there? That's disgusting. So, no morning swim for me, but at least I can enjoy a good breakfast to start the day. God, that's all they've got to offer. How depressing is that? This is crazy. I've got to find some breakfast. I'm starving, and cold coffee isn't going to do it. But I've heard there's an amazing farmer's market in town, so I'm going to quickly check it out. What a lovely little place. I've heard David from Maison's Kitchen runs a food truck here in his spare time. No deep fried calamari, I hope. I saw the line, I thought, uh -huh. wow. What are you serving? We got quesadillas, best in New Mexico. OK, brilliant. I have a little, little food truck with a buddy of mine, Chris, a little taste of New Mexico. This is one of our favorites right here, the cucumber lime. That's perfect. A little mint. But 100 degrees outside, that's perfect, right? Yes, it huh? great. My goodness. Man, that's delicious. So what's in the quesadilla? Yeah. Cheese, yeah. green chili, yeah. and acidetto cheese. Here you are, my friend. Thank you. Mmm. That is delicious. Yeah. Now, uh, David, that's better than anything I've eaten in the hotel. You know that. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> delicious. Thank you, sir. Uh, the food truck is my creative outlet. It's a place for me to at least express my ideas without having any borders. Well done. I'll see you later. Thank uh, you, good sir. job. Thank uh, you delicious. Nice, Enjoy the food, guys. Thank you. Thank you. This town is stunning, full of charm and local color. It's such a shame the hotel reflects none of that. I've got to find a way to get Callie to embrace New Mexico and make the most of what her hotel has to offer. How are you feeling? I feel OK. I think it's important for you to understand the bigger picture. OK. Yeah, can you come with me? Please, thank you. Hopefully, what I have planned will open Callie's eyes. Callie, this is some of your guests. I'd like you to share your experiences. Why don't we start off with you first, please? First impressions are, are important to me, and, and the, the very first thing I had to do was sign a, a cleaning waiver, and it, it just it makes the assumption that I'm not going to be clean. That assumption was it was just a tough first impression. Yes, a valid point. Waivers are for bungee jumps. At your peril. Uh, the whole thing for me wasn't to make you think that I didn't think that you were clean. It was. I had someone come in and throw red wine all over the Venetian plaster, and I thought that I should charge them for that. But well, you're it punishing wasn't... every other guest on well, the back I of the sins mean... of one guest, and it's not right. You know, you can't penalize future business on the back of one idiot. So, please. It appears that there's no thought into what the customer's going to experience. For instance, um, the first thing on a hot day, you want to go into the pool. Um, and we looked out to the pool, and, it, and, it, and it's right now it's the same way. It's got um, a lot of leaves and it's dirty, so it, maybe it's not open, but how can it not be open? Yes, a valid point. Madam, please. We were in the lounge for dinner, and when you were singing, we couldn't have a conversation. It's just not appropriate for an upscale, intimate, fine dining experience. I feel like you're very focused on the performance, but you're not really focused on your guests. Very interesting. Sir? Anything that goes wrong with the restaurant when you're singing, you're too busy singing and not caring about your guests. I would pay you a hundred bucks not to sing. As long as you are focused on your singing career and not on your restaurant and hotel career, my wife and I won't be back. I don't agree. I have quite a bit of people that come here to hear me sing. Guest feedback is critical. It's about turning that negativity into something positive. Now, I'd like to introduce you to a very special lady, Nilu Matamid. She is the features director and the senior correspondent for Travel and Leisure magazine. Nilu, um, give us a little insight to your stay, please. One of the things that we look at is whether a hotel has a sense of place, whether it's maximizing the value that that beautiful setting that it's in has. 
You mentioned the pool. That's one great example of a moment where you have a potential great asset here that is being underutilized, and it's kind of underwhelming. There's a reason why hotel schools exist. So it's not a hobby, it's a business. There is one question I'd like to ask you all. Would you come back to stay in this hotel again? Please raise your hands. No one. Um, thank you to you all. Your feedback has been absolutely pivotal. I uh, appreciate it. I was sending a message that I didn't realize I was sending and didn't want to send. I want people to come here. I want them to feel welcomed. Are you starting to understand? I am. You are? I am. You're worrying about the wrong things. The biggest issue you have is understanding who's number one. The guests have to be number one, not Callie. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. If you can change that, this place has every chance of becoming a big success. Can you change? Will you help me? I, I will help you, but you've got to start listening. I can do it. Again. I hope so. It's been a tough week at Maison de Messia, but I believe Callie is finally committed to putting her guests first. I can do it. Again. So, overnight, my design team have pulled off an incredible transformation, which I can't wait to share with Callie and her staff. Are we ready? Yes, sir. Yes. Please turn around. Oh, wow. A stunning yes. sign. Wow. Wow. Now, when you drive by, it tells you... What we are. The San de Messia Hotel and Restaurant. Gorgeous, right? Very. Beautiful. Now, everybody that goes by is not going to wonder, huh, wonder whose nice house that is. Are you ready to see inside? Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> because this, you're going to absolutely love. Morning, everybody. Look how beautiful. How are you? Oh, wait, cool. Welcome to your new hotel breakfast buffet. Wow. Remember what breakfast used to be like? We had cold coffee. Now, you have a very traditional, stunning breakfast buffet. That will be served in crisp white linens, not those horrible plastic cloths. And that's not all. I reached out and got an amazing local talented breakfast chef. Let me introduce you to him. Meet David, our breakfast chef. Wow, David. <laughs> Hi, David. Hey, David. Hey, David. <laughs> That's a wonderful thing. I, I feel great right now. I'm loving the recipes, and I'm, I'm really excited to be in the kitchen right now. Kelly. Yes, sir. I think that's a much better way of using that stage than a Kellyoke evening. Uh. <laughs> Let's go. Welcome to you, sweet. Beautiful. Very cool. Very cool. Wow. 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 Really very, nice. very cool. So we've incorporated some of the local colors and brought them in to this boutique hotel. Callie, how are you feeling? I'm hazed. Room 205 is, is an amazing, amazing room. It, it's a New Mexico feel. And I know it's not beige, but you don't mind, do you? No, no, not no. at all. I think it's gorgeous. It I do. Is. The walls are still beautiful, and yet we have all this color. And, and, and it goes so well with the area that we're in. I've added color, but there's something I've taken away. There are no more waivers for your guests to sign. Is that good with you, Kelly? Good. <laughs> it's awesome. The front desk no longer has waivers, and the new rooms are colorful. They fit with exactly where we are in this historic district. I am very proud to show people the new rooms. I've got one very small thing to show you. You ready? Yeah. We are. This you're going to love. Oh, it's out here. Now, that's what I call a pool. Yes, oh, it is. Oh, my God. Remember, there was leaves and crap everywhere. Now, welcome to one of the hippest, one of the coolest pools anywhere in New Mexico. That is the oasis in the middle of the desert. Yeah. Gone is that hideous fence and replaced it with new turf and pool furniture to die for. Beautiful. It is. It is. People will just want to come and hang out here now, man. Bam, this is awesome. The pool, absolutely beautiful. Never seen anything like it. If we don't have pool parties now, then something's wrong. This is your fantastic cabana area. Gone is the stage. If you want to sing, Kelly, do it in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a margarita, Carlos? <laughs> I'll be serving a lot of drinks out here. Uh, I'm hoping the business is going to absolutely kick off with this wonderful pool. Now that you have a stunning 
outside area. Let me introduce you to your new poolside menu. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Poolside. So you start off with a lovely, refreshing tomato gazpacho, beautifully marinated, seasoned lovely with extra virgin olive oil. Fish tacos as well. Oh, I'm going to eat all that. Yes. <laughs> and delicious fruit kebabs. Oh, this is great. Wonderful fresh fruit, mango, orange, lime, coconut, and seasoned with those wonderful green local chilies. A taste of New Mexico, <laughs> not Tuscany, Kelly. It's outstanding. The tomato gazpacho is, is, is magnificent. I'm very proud to cook this food. It makes sense, and it goes with New Mexico. I think it's excellent. Have a good look at the menu. Get used to it, because we're going to be pushing it big time. <sighs> See you in a minute. This makeover is the biggest I've done in any of the hotels I've visited. There's over $150,000 worth of upgrades, and I've never been happier with the improvements. It's exactly what the guests need. If I was Kelly, I'd be over the moon. Green chilies, pecans, everything that New Mexico is about, we have it on the menu. We have the guacamole, we have the salsa. What do I do with the five cases of hamburger buns that I just brought in? And, and even more, hey, what, we want to spend an hour putting things away every night and then bring them out every morning. This is what Ramsey gave the hotel. Labor, 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 labor. <laughs> Who do I hire to do that? This is a lot of work. I can't, I can't. I, I love can't the deal with it. <laughs> it gotta go. Oh my God. There's things that I'm concerned about. The pool's outstanding. It's scary to me because I've got a pretty big job ahead of me now. And the linens, major pain in the ass. So many things that I'm going to have to do that right now, I, you know, I'm really like freaking out over these. And uh, what, I'm, what I'm going to do is raise prices. Callie is a little overwhelmed right now. I do believe she likes the fact that it's more New Mexican. Jesus, God almighty. But Callie's Callie. Where's all my shit? Where's all my shit? What does that mean? <laughs> the, all the other stuff that you took away. Uh, what stuff? Tell me. I'm the, the, oh, oh, the tapestries. Oh, uh, I know uh, you took down all the grapes. Yes. Which is, it was covering a pretty big hole in that wall. Right, let's show me. Show me what we, what oh, we, whinging, kind of what we whinging about. Oh, is no, that what you're worried about? Is a plastic yeah. bunch of grapes? To hide okay. this where somebody hit it with a table. We can get your grapes back and you can stick plastic grapes back on the wall. Let me show you something for two seconds. I want to show you something really important. Just have a look at that out there. How beautiful know, is that? It's gorgeous. It's exactly yeah. what your guests need and want. Let me show you something. Oh, oh, there it is. I look at that amazing stuff there. And I look at this pile of shit in here. And you're starting to create a fuss. Forgetting that this hotel is about the guests. And you start putting the tea on edge because you want plastic grapes. Here's what I'm going to do for you. In 15 minutes, I will clear all that furniture, OK? And I'll put it back in my van. And this shit here, I'll put back in there. Let me show you something. Oh, oh, there it is. I look at that amazing stuff there. And I look at this pile of shit in here. And you're starting to create a fuss. Here's what I'm going to do for you. In 15 minutes, I will clear all that furniture, OK? And I'll put it back in my van. And this shit here, I'll put back in there. I am, I am ex Should we get for you, should, should we get in there and look for your grapes? No, okay. I am more grateful than you can okay. possibly. Okay, well, you have a very bizarre way of showing it. That's all. Thank you, Kelly. Sometimes what I say with the best intentions is taken with the worst. And to be aware of that is very good, because that just means that I'm going to be able to start thinking the thought all the way through before it comes out of my mouth. I'm glad Kelly's grateful, but I am worried as soon as I leave, she'll be back to her old ways. Plastic grapes won't kill her business, but if she carries on singing, that might. You mustn't take this the wrong way, and I hope you don't, but I grew up with a dad that was constantly moving our family in and out of working men's clubs, bars, and singing every fucking weekend. Seeing him ruin his life, trying to be someone he was never going to be. The other night, I watched you move from here to here. Oh, Christ, you shouldn't be doing this in here. I think there's a level of class about you, the way you hold yourself, the way you dress, the way you, you appear. I don't want to see you being laughed at. I, <clears throat> I really don't know how to, to, uh, to react, but obviously, um, Every time you're singing, 
you're not, not running, running the hotel. hotel. I totally agree with and you. Right now. It needs to be run. Okay, that makes sense to me. Good. Okay. Thank you. I think Kelly's ready for a fresh start. So I invited lots of new guests and a local band for Maison's first ever pool party. Hi. Table four, four, five? Uh, Fifteen. 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 How are we? Hi. Are you good? Yeah. Having fun? Yeah. Gorgeous place, right? Yeah. Love it. Enjoy. Have fun. The pool party crowd are loving all the changes. The fish tacos are yummy. Awesome. They're loving the food, guys, yes? Keep it going, yes? You know my first job when I was 18? Hot wash, starters, running. But I wasn't running to glamorous pools like you're about to run to. <laughs> And the new guests are loving the colourful rooms. Oh, oh, wow. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, no, that's coming. I think this will work. People will like this idea. It's really neat to have something like this in Las Cruces, because there's nothing like this. No. We don't have to leave town. We're here. We're here. Vacation. <laughs> I think Kelly's heart is in the right place, but she has a lot to learn about running her hotel. I'd like to introduce you to a very special man, Mr. Jeff Mayhem. Nice Hi. to meet you. Likewise. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm wonderful. Now, this man has a wealth of experience, spanning nearly three decades of running some of the most prestigious and luxurious boutique hotels in New Mexico. Jeff's a former innkeeper of the year. He's not just good, he's one of the best. He knows this business inside out. After all, he does something so well that he's innkeeper of the year. I want my guest to get the experience that his guests get. I'm going to leave you two alone to spend some valuable time. Thank you. OK, all great. Right. We Thank look you. forward to working with it. Thank you. So let's talk. OK. Now, Kelly, clearly, she can't turn back time, but she can insist on this place having a bright future. On one condition, she stays off that bloody microphone and makes her guess the stars and not that bloody singing. Can she do it? That's the million dollar question. It's the end of a long week at Maison de Messia. I'm really happy with the changes at the hotel, but it could still all fall apart if, instead of stepping up as general manager, Kelly steps back onto the stage. It's time for me to say goodbye. If you have that little urge that you start getting the tremors and you feel a need for the mic, I want you to run into the freezer. Stay there two seconds. <laughs> I put your microphone in a block of ice. Now, this <laughs> will give you two or three hours to defrost, which will give you a chance yes. to understand that the guests are the stars. I understand okay? that. I want you to seize these changes and run this stunning boutique hotel. I will. Thank you. Thank you. I found out from Gordon that I don't have a singing career, and that's OK. I, this is my career. If I could turn back time. Can't get that bloody song out of my mind. Since my visit, bookings at Maison de Messia have surged. Welcome to Maison de Messia. Two for dinner? Yes. The new guests are enjoying the pool and the new menus. It's delicious. We're impressed, and I didn't even know this place was here. And Kelly is learning how to be a proper general manager. I appreciate you coming. You. You're welcome. Thank you. I really am very grateful. The man knows what he's doing. Thank God for Gordon Ramsay. 